yeah, so we're just keeping on rolling here. So it has this beautiful... Oh, that's so gorgeous. And then it goes back to the, the uh, minor again, T minor. Also, the end there, I really like that section. Of, yeah, it's a it sounds like a Tom Schultz sound actually, like from Boston. Let's see. Uh, nope. And that's the those two parts particularly stood out to me in the first listening of the song. I was like, oh yeah, what is that? What is that? I like that. It, the, the song really got me thinking about prog rock in general, and I've had some negative comments. Uh, I had one friend who really thinks prog rock is what useless and, and, and uh, bombastic and annoying or whatever. This particular fella loves, you know, like uh, Bob Dylan and really rootsy kind of stuff. And I love that too. I love all the rootsy stuff. I have nothing against that. <clears throat> I just love Prague. And I think the reason you can't discount Prague is because if you're going to discount, discount Prague, you might as well say classical music is garbage. Throw it down the toilet. It's just all pretentious junk. Classical music stands for developing ideas. It stands for musicianship. It stands for big ideas, you know, but it's a large group. For classical music is amazing. I mean, just imagine back in the day when people only imagined music as far as some guy hitting the drum and then and then soon someone blowing a flute inventing stringed instruments. And then you got like 60, 80, 100 people all in an orchestra making all this music. And then in the rock era, uh, you have keyboards, which can replace 40 or 50 people playing a string orchestra. One guy with, with, with his two hands is creating the music that sounds like 40 or 50 people. And then you now you can, with digital technology, you can create a whole atmosphere. So now you, you can bring a cave with you, or you can bring a space scene into your music. There's just no limit. Music, music has become unlimited. And to criticize progressive rock and say it's, uh, it's just all, you know, whatever, it's, it's, it's an invalid criticism, it's completely invalid criticism. Progressive rock is it's a very valuable uh, genre, in the same way classical music. I, I see it sort of like classical music, marrying it with classical rock, where you have suites of music, and and then of course there's other stretching, and there's, and there's uh, industrial sounds that progressive rock has incorporated, jazz, uh, there's just so, there's no limit, and now metal, which is what, what held me back from Prague uh, when it got into the 90s and Dream Theater and all that, I was not interested in the harsh, to me, very harsh guitars. I, I like the softer, sort of softer kind of classic metal guitar, you know, Marshall sound. Even prog music has incorporated screaming, you know, the growling, and that took me a while to, to get used to that. But hey, that's just, that's just the way prog is. It starts incorporating things from everywhere, you know, the kitchen sink. So that's why I love prog. So thanks for recommending Kansas to me again, and uh, stay tuned every Sunday. It is classic 70s progressive rock reacts to, to prog that I've not heard yet. Signing out is Dean. See you next video. Bye.